Thanks for clicking on our channel. My name is Brady Prenzlow and I am the owner of Prenzlow Photography. I'm guessing if you clicked on this link, you may have the task of needing to shoot a larger group in a high school gymnasium. It's not a glamorous shot, it's not dynamic, it's not uh, really overly sexy, it's just a good clean photo for a yearbook. If you are curious about our settings, our setup, and the challenges that ensue, stick around. We photograph about 90% of the sports teams for Champlain Park High School. So on a couple of Monday mornings in January, we donated our time to come in and photograph all the clubs for the yearbook. National Honor Society, the yearbook committee, uh, student council, the bass fishing team, they all have clubs at North Hennepin. I think we shot about 25 clubs over the course of two mornings over five minute slots. And if you've ever needed to photograph in a gymnasium, you realize there are some inherent challenges. Uh, the primary one being light. In a high school gym, the lights are going to be relatively low and very tungsten. So yes, we could have walked in with a camera and knocked most of these out. However, shooting a club where it's maybe 50 members large, you want the front row and the back row to be also in focus. You're gonna to have to shoot pretty close down at an F10, which means you are going to result in a dangerously low shutter speed or a pretty noisy high ISO setting. And I know these cameras can handle it, but we decided to meet in the middle and I shot at F10, one over 25 and an ISO of 640 and then still brought in these three lights that you see here. So we had two key lights of uh, 80 1200s that were fired in at about half power in long throw reflectors pointed right at the ceiling and then a fill light of an 8600 in a large undiffused refle uh, reflective seven foot umbrella to serve as the fill. And you can see that there are orange CTO gels on each one of these. I basically decided to do a quarter gel. I think I could have maybe even cropped it up to about a half gel. And the point of this is that yes, these tungsten lights are at about 3,400 Kelvin where my lights are naturally at about 5,600. Uh, so if I was to just use the bare bulbs, everyone's face would be nice and color corrected, but the everything else in the gym would have a nice orange tungsten hue. So we balanced them out and, um, you know, color corrected for the entire group. And again, it's sort of a work in progress, uh, but pretty happy with these settings. And you might decide to do this a little bit differently, but this works pretty well for us. And the main thing was we wanted basically the same setup of whether it was a group of nine or a group of 69. So uh, that seemed to definitely work. Uh, moving forward just a little bit here, as I'm bringing this rather large group in, you can see my setup. My camera is also on a light stand just so that I could pretty easily get it up high. I have a high enough tripod, but it was just easy to throw in the case. On the light stand is a small ASOS monitor, an HDM monitor. Yes, I know I could shoot tethered, but uh, this just was an easy setup. Everything was saving on dual cards in my camera. And it is really nice to have a larger monitor, especially in situations like this. I would usually take, get everybody set, take three or four shots, and then tell them to pause, make sure everyone's eyeballs were open so that I had to do as little Photoshopping after the fact and moving heads around as possible. Uh, feel like we did pretty good. Again, tried, trying to make these groups as square as possible rather than having two or three really long lines, filling that one section of the bleachers so to make the yearbook committees, the graphic arts department of the yearbook committee, as easy as possible and not have to Tetris in weirdly shaped groups. Uh, shooting groups is always a challenge. Uh, just getting people to sit where they need to sit and making sure that every head is in the next gap. And I would give myself about a BB minus in terms of this. Uh, but again, it showcases personalities. Um, as long as everyone was standing up, their eyeballs are open and you can see their head. And generally I would have to move somebody in the back if their head was in front of somebody else's and so on. But overall it worked really well. I will continue on with this video showing just a little time lapse of the 20 or 25 clubs that came through. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. Uh, again, this might not be the perfect setup, but it definitely worked for our needs. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. We'll be right